fixing the money thing. So we were, we're talking about the, the big fish. So they have the fish in the boat, the big halibut in the boat. Go on. I've never seen anything like that. I had no clue that that fish would be so wild and be flopping around everywhere. It, it was, was pretty it big. Was pretty exciting, wasn't so, yeah. it? So <laughs> Very they exciting. It, they took it to the, uh, the town square, had a big mm -hmm. scale where they, all the, the, the contestants would weigh their fish. And we took it down there, and they took a picture of you. And the, the, of I knew it was big because people started coming from all around yeah. to see it and getting my picture with it. I didn't know yet if it was the Derby the, winner. The Derby wasn't over for two or three right, more weeks. Right. So, they didn't tell me yet it was the winner. Yeah, so we got your picture. And if you had won, then your picture goes in the paper, and you get a check, a, an award check and everything. So mm -hmm. what happened? A little fish pan with a halibut on it. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Yeah, I forgot that's we the girl had that. part. You gotta get the jewelry. Oh, okay, yeah, right. right. Do you still have that? I don't I remember. I do. Okay. I do. I haven't seen you wear it for a while, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so go on. So what happened? Yeah, we, no, we I lost a train home. of thought. We came home. <laughs> I'm like, well, I would not wear a fish they pin. Wanted, <laughs> they want to know, did it win the derby? Did it win the derby? Yes, it won the halibut derby. And your picture and got in the got paper, a check you got and the check. And everything. And the pin. It's still on a website somewhere. We looked and, it up yeah. not that long ago. Uh, inquiring spiritual scientists want to know how did she catch the, how, how see a lot of people can catch a fish but how do they know they're gonna catch it before they caught it it was faith it yeah was it's faith. the kingdom of God okay so the kingdom. that was pretty amazing and it spoke to that guy uh, mm -hmm. that had the business yes. so we we, we we testified to him how you caught it so let's mm -hmm. fast forward five years we decided I told to him take how some good pastors. God is I, I wanted him to know God yeah. is good and the same God that gave me this fish can fix your business, can do whatever Correct. you need Absolutely. in your life. 100%. You look at the scriptures, the if disciples had needs. I would say that. God you can there. catch the halibut winner, I guarantee. Absolutely. God can fix it. Yeah. Right. No, you're not trying to insult me. No, I'm just saying you don't I'm fish. I'm just not into that. You don't right. fish. It's right. like, you know, you don't fish, yes. so you catch the. Okay, so five years later. Which is a point. Maybe because I did not know what was required, it was easier for me to have faith. Sometimes when people Maybe. know all the but details. But you still know the principle. That's yes, the point we're making absolutely. in the show. Absolutely. Okay, so five <laughs> years later, we're in Alaska with some pastors. We're talking to them, and we say, you know what? We got to go halibut fishing. Mm -hmm. And we think, where do we go fishing? Let's go to the same people we went to. And we went there, and they weren't there. Right, they moved their they, business. Yeah, we didn't know where they were. They so moved we, to a different part of the bay. Well, we forgot their name. Mm -hmm. So we said, how can we remember the name of the company? So we went online on our laptop and went back to the newspaper article of you winning, and there was your picture and the name of the boat, and we Googled them, and they had moved five miles or so, 10 miles down mm -hmm. the coast, where it's shallower. So we go down, call them, yeah, come on over. We didn't tell them who we were yet. We walk in the door, and the first thing they say is, It's the hell of a derby winner. It's the derby winner. <laughs> And so we want to go fishing again. So we, we go out again, and you do the same thing. Now, the derby wasn't going on. That You walk up to this, this counter, and you go, how's the fishing been? And they're discouraged because this is like 2008, 2009. It was really during the worst recession. Right. And their business had been struggling, and he was having to live in a different part of the country at one part of the year to do fishing business. Right. Come so back there, work tight. the oil line, you know, oil pipeline. It's not doing it was well. a rough time. And so the same thing, then how's the fishing? Well, not doing well. What's What size fish are you catching? 20 pounders? Because they moved to shallow and there weren't any big ones. And there. I was actually even bolder this time. I looked at him and I said, I'm going to catch another huge child, but the biggest one you've caught this year, because I want you to know just how much God loves you and wants to take care of this business and help you. Oh my goodness. It's just like a boldness, all I can say by the Holy Spirit but and the experience knew, with God. But you knew how yes, it works. Work, That's yes. the key. A lot of people want yes. to do things. I know the promises of God. I know the power it's of God. It's the principles we're And I also at. know the love that God has for this, this person. But again, let me say it again to everyone. God wants to touch everyone. Yes. You can have compassion. No, if agree. you don't have the means to meet the compassion, there's no help. So right. you knew what to do. So we're going to, we're discovering right. that in the program. So right. same thing happened. I mean, exactly. This, I mean, exactly the same <laughs> thing. It was remarkable. It's the last catch of the day. We last really cast. Last cast of the day. Last Sorry, cast. fishing guys. That was the last gals. catch. 
last cast of the day. Right. And it was my last catch Same of the thing. day. And I caught all the, the biggest fish up. they had gotten the entire season. Well, let me say season. it this way. Everything. All the poles reeled up. Mm -hmm. He's standing back. Ma'am, I'm he, sorry. I've got to go. And he was making fun of me pretty much now, the whole time. He was this time. He was, he was making fun of you the whole <laughs> right. time. He was He's saying, like, right, right, right. You're right. going to catch the big, yeah, right, Yeah, right. come on. I'm sure. And so, bam, the last... <laughs> Same thing, ma'am, I'm sorry, and boom, the pole goes down, and you pull up, what, 70 some pound halibut, and he about, he can't believe it. They were all pretty shocked. They were, they were bouncing the around the boat. Caught, yeah. They were bouncing around the boat. So we drop the halibut off to be kind of flayed out to be mm -hmm. shipped. We go have lunch. The, uh, the restaurant there is full of charter captains. We're talking, and they heard that you caught a 70 pounder. They all, they all go, yes. what? Where you caught a set? Where'd you catch that? Where'd right. you catch? No one's caught a seventy pound. Right. Everybody in the restaurant kind of came alive talking to me. Guys like, oh, I haven't seen a seventy pound fish. There's no seventy pound pound fish in that water because yes. we were actually in a water that was shallow. Very shallow, yeah. And it really was a huge fish for that water, as big of a miracle as the other catch was. Right. It, it reminds me kind of a, the fishermen in the Bible that fished all night, caught nothing, and then they got connected with the kingdom of God, and Jesus told them. Go out there and cast your nets over there, and they came back with the biggest catch. Same water, but just a little different location. Right. He told them how to do it and what yeah. to do. Okay, so we got to speed up. We have more fish than we, we could manage. Because I know everyone. We had is, a huge fish fry at church too, didn't yeah. we? Well, we did. We did. <laughs> hey, but 222 pounds of pure halibut fillet we shipped back to Ohio. The first time, right? The first time, right? Mm -hmm. And the second time we shipped, I don't know how many pounds back. So we've been there twice and, and a lot of halibut. Halibut is a great fish to eat. But here comes the question now, of course. We left that guy the second time, and we got a little more bold with him that time. We said, you need to know mm. once maybe, but twice you need to know what she knows about the kingdom to catch yeah, two. Yeah, we were able to share some of our materials and a book yeah, with him. He them. was and open just, then to receive yeah, materials. Yeah, encourage and, them, and I hope they're doing great. I hope their business yeah. is doing if super. If you're watching, we hope, yeah, hope you're doing really they, well. Yeah, because they were awesome people, and we all can get discouraged. That's the thing. Every one of us, when we come up against difficult circumstances, situations, the economy had been really bad, and the fishing business had yes, been bad. Yes, but Dorinda, the economy is bad, but you still caught the fish. Right, right. What I'm trying Which to is say the is point. there are yes. principles that yes. operate in the kingdom. We're not subject to these circumstances. Right. We, right. Have, we are tied into the kingdom of God that does things completely different, mm -hmm. which you have evidence twice. Yes. And God is no respecter of persons. So if he Correct. would do that for me, he would do that for a fish captain. He'd do that for, you know, you. He'd do that for anyone. It's a matter of knowing that God loves us, that he has given us promises, that if we grab a hold of those promises, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of what you do not see. So if you believe what God says, and the Bible says if you ask what you will, believing that here's, you receive it shall be done for you. Here's the, here's the question. A lot of people may think God chose to do that. I would say you chose to do that. Mm -hmm. See, God has given us the keys of the kingdom. You yes. already, God already gave us the kingdom. Yes. And you understood the laws of the kingdom, which gave you the confidence. Right. And that scripture's right there, there with that. And catch that moment. Yes, that scripture's right there with that. That says that, um, you know, if you believe this, it says, I've given you the keys to the mm -hmm. kingdom. Whatever you bind will be bound. Whatever you Whatever loose. Whatever you loose, heaven and backs so we up. do have authority Absolutely. that we've been given as believers. That's not arrogance. That's what Jesus did. That's not arrogance or that's not saying I'm God's favorite. We can all be God's favorite. We can did. all have the kingdom yep. operating in our lives if we believe the promises. And I do believe that God loves me and want to bless me, but God also loved that person. And that's why you and I are called to demonstrate the kingdom of God so we can draw people to Jesus, draw right. them See, to God's yes. goodness and his love. See, he loved you and gave you the kingdom. Right. You already had the entire kingdom. Yes. He loves that man, but you chose, mm -hmm. you chose to demonstrate the kingdom. And to believe. And that's what we want to leave you with today is that the kingdom of God mm -hmm. operates based on laws. And God has given us the kingdom. Luke yes. chapter six, verse 20, blessed are the poor for theirs is the kingdom of God. Amen. And you have that right yes. as well. So. Yes. We want to thank you yes. for joining us, Drinda. Yes. That's an amazing story, twice in a row. Yes. And God is awesome. He's good. He loves you today. Whatever you're dealing with, whatever situation you may be in today, 